Trump sends feds into Michigan for ICE raid, discover America's worst nightmare hiding in plain sight. Former President Barack Obama allowed Muslim refugees to enter our country. Thanks to his policies, Michigan has become a home for Islamic extremists. Among these refugees, there are a lot of criminals who are hiding in under the guise of a humanitarian effort. Although Americans were demanding tougher control on the border, Obama didn't want to hear any of it. However, thank God Trump became president. He immediately enforced immigration laws in order to protect our country and its people. Freedom Daily reports, just recently, federal agents went into Muslim-infested Michigan to conduct a raid, and what they found was disgusting. Of course, the left is losing their mind over the fact that our laws are being enforced, but it is about time. Over the last several years, illegals have been entering the country and committing horrific crimes ranging from murder to sexual assaults. A few weeks ago, ICE conducted an 11-day raid in New York and caught a lot of bad people for sex crimes. Now, another raid was conducted, but this time it was in Michigan. During a four-day raid, ICE discovered that almost 80 perfect of the illegal immigrants committed crimes. This is horrible. Freedom Daily reports, of the criminal convictions, they ranged from DUI, domestic battery, contempt of court, possession of open intoxicants, criminal sexual conduct, child abuse, fourth degree, child neglect, destruction of property, domestic violence, larceny, false identity to law enforcement and attempted identity theft, among other offenses. The 33 arrestees are from four countries, Mexico, Liberia, Guatemala, and El Salvador. Some of the illegals who were arrested will be prosecuted for re-entry after deportation. This felony is punishable up to 20 years jail time. However, the illegals that won't be prosecuted will be removed from the country. Operations like these demonstrate that ICE is focused on the arrest of dangerous criminal illegals. The agency will continue to protect our nation and uphold public safety. Something like this would have never happened under Obama's administration. Tour country was neglected for too long thanks to the Democratic policies. However, because of our new President Trump and ICE, our country is more protected and secure than it was before.